for another review. This time we are stepping out of the realm of Beta Metalli and jumping into the realm of Rain Man, who has officially retired from doing custom runs. Uh, he now works for Blitzway, so uh, yeah, that sucks. Um, kind of hurt the community a little bit, but you know, got to do what you got to do. This was the Shining set, the uh, the grand package. I've been looking for this for years. And like I always tell people, if, if folks sit there and tell you, especially if you're looking for something that's rare, and they're like, nah, you're never going to find that. You're never going to get it or whatever, man. Don't listen to it because twice now I've come across pieces that I've wanted. Um, took a couple of years and finally found a fellow collector who was selling his set. Um, great dude. And I appreciate him sitting there selling this to me. So now it's in the collection. And again, one of Rain Man's uh, best pieces of work. Uh, I am in the search for a couple more Rain Man pieces. And then... Uh, That'll be it for his uh, category. But this was one of them uh, where you get Jack Torrance, you get the twins, and you get Danny Torrance. And uh, man, this, this set is killer. I bought uh, uh, Jack, you know, pretty much by himself when he, when he came out. That was all that was available. So I went on ahead and I got him. But then I was like, ah, oh, man, this shit looks corny with just him. You need everybody in this set. So uh, let's jump into it. And who's the first one? Let's uh, let's just go ahead and uh, let's do let's do Jack himself. All right. So here you have Jack Torrance. Um, Rain Man, of course, did the axe and the head sculpt and the boots that he wears. And of course, the clothing done by Yensel. Um, the look of Jack Nicholson, I mean, you it's kind of there. Um, I don't think it's 100% accurate. Of course, everyone knows Balloon Man. And uh, they know that he captured Jack Nicholson's likeness uh, way much better. But, you know, this is an original um, Rain Man piece. So I don't know if I was going to switch it, swap out the heads. I know some people say that's corny. Keep it original the way that it came. Um, but then, you know, hey, if you want your collection to look good and you feel like that sculpt is going to be better, then do so. I think everybody does that uh, in this hobby now. Everybody has swapped out. Uh, one head sculpt for the other because the person did it much better than the original artist. So, um, no, yeah, folks shouldn't be giving shit to other collectors about that. But like I said, the likeness, it's, um, like I said, I, I would say it's about, I mean, you obviously have a menacing grin that he's giving. I'll probably say it's about, I want to say 70% there, um, but still, it doesn't matter. The, the figure is uh, the figure is outstanding. The set is outstanding. So, uh, Balloon Man had two versions of his sculpt. One was a I, I want to say a menacing look with his mouth open, and then I think the other one that he just recently came out with is I think with just a standard grin I have to go back and look but uh, I was thinking about ordering one from him and uh, taking a look to see how it looks with this figure and then see if I replace it or not but uh, let's get a closer look at it alright try to get as much detail shown in here of Rain Man's work. Um, again, this one, all sculpted by Rain Man, painted by Rain Man. 
uh, the set that I had back in the day was just a, a painted set by Eon. And like I said, I swapped that head out with the first head that Balloon Man did. And then um, I just didn't want Jack by himself, so I went on ahead and I sold it. The axe made by Rain Man. Um, I believe everything on there is resin. Yeah, everything on there is resin. It would have been nice to to get an actual uh, metal axe, but I mean, resin is fine. If uh, no one was available to actually do a metal axe, then um, you know, obviously resin was fine. But again, I'm so glad this came back into the collection. It took a while, but finally got this bad boy back with everybody. Rain Man hand sculpt the boots. Uh, he did the custom base that has the, uh, the exact carpet that you see in the film in the hotel. Um, I know some people replace their boots with real leather boots made by can't remember the artist's name. She's in, I believe she's in Russia. She's really good at making shoes. And a lot of people replaced their uh, shoes that Rain Man did with uh, what she did. I don't think she sells them anymore, so I'm just probably just gonna stick with, you know, what Rain Man did. I don't wanna, I don't wanna change too much of the figure. I'm already thinking about swapping the head out, so I don't wanna sit there and just re, you know, just take everything out. Cause once you take the head and the, the boots out, then there's nothing, there's nothing left of what Rain Man did. So, um, we'll see how that goes up. I'm definitely not going to swap the boots out, but with the head, I don't know. Should I, should I not? Should I just keep it the way it is? I think I'm just going to keep it the way it is. I don't think there's really no need in sitting there doing all that. But again, uh, we'll get back to this base because there's something special that Rain Man did with this base. Twins that were in the film uh, that Danny saw, they're actually ghosts because they're dead. Uh, this is one of Rain Man's, I mean, the work on this is just one of his best, um, especially how the two girls are connected together by uh, them holding hands. So they don't separate. Uh, they're pretty much together right there in the middle holding hands. So what's unique about this base is there's a magnet underneath and then there are magnet in their shoes so that they can pretty much stand on their own and you don't need any type of a stand to hold them up. So it's a pretty strong connection. So they, they pretty much won't fall over. Again, Yunsil with the work on the tailoring, perfect. Uh, and then just the overall work by Rain Man is just, uh, it's just amazing. Uh, again, when I sat there and I first sat and saw the grand package, I was, I knew I should have got it, but like I said, when I got Jack and he was by himself. Um, it just, it wasn't right. So I was like, I don't want Jack with just Jack. I don't want Jack with Danny. Um, because that wouldn't even, wouldn't, it wouldn't even look right. If you have Jack and Danny, you need the, the twins. This is, I think is the gem of the set. Um, Danny is great. No doubt. Um, a lot of work put into him, but I think, the twins are the gem of the set. It's kind of like uh, Psycho, uh, the Psycho set that Rain Man did. If you don't have Mother and you just have Norman Bates by himself, it just doesn't seem right. So I knew when I was said, that if I sit here and get anything of the Shining, I'm going to have to get them all together. I don't want to get piece by piece. Just find somebody who's going to sell everything all together and this is what we got so let's take a little close up you know the likeness is there um again the paint app perfect all of this done by hand um 
I mean, like you can't ask for anything better. Again, if you don't have the twins, I don't think there's really a point of just having Jack and Danny alone. Uh, you, you have to have all three to make this set complete. It's yeah, the, the work is amazing not to sit there and have it. Last but not least, you got Danny Torrance. Once again, completely done by Rain Man. The uh, tricycle done by no other than Robbie the Painter. Uh, I mean, every piece on this is just amazing from how Robbie just constructed the whole uh, bicycle to Rain Man, you know, making this uh, this sculpt or the sculpt and body of Danny and just how everything just fits perfect. I mean, you have every detail from the pedestal to the uh, little ringer there on the um, handle. Uh, the outfit by Yunsel. I mean, again, Danny is an important piece to this set, but if you don't have all of them together, it's just, it's kind of, I don't know, for me, it's, it's just pointless. Um, Robbie has proven over and over and over again, his work is just amazing. And when him and Rain Man collab together, you're going to get some hot shit. That's why it kind of sucks that, uh, you know, Rain Man is officially retired from doing custom runs. Um, I mean, just to think what he could have, you know, came out with now. So um, when he does like his when he sculpts everything, even the body, he comes out with masterpieces. You've got. This, you've got Reagan with the Exorcist and his best work of all, hands down, The Elephant Man. And we'll do a review on that. But, and I'm, I don't know, I'm a little skeptical. I don't know if I really want to, when I do the review on The Elephant Man, I kind of want to strip him down and show you guys what he looks like. Full custom body uh, done by Rain Man. It's truly, it's his best work. It's it's no denying the elephant set, both sets. I mean, it's the same figure, but still, uh, that that's his best work ever. So, um, when he sculpts everything and puts it all together, it, it's just amazing. And then you collab with Robbie on top of that. I mean, it's a wrap. So, Danny, of course, is a must. The twins, a must without them. Uh, you might as well just wait. You know, you got to wait till you find someone uh, who's selling this. And I think I've only seen this grand package set for sale. I, I want to say four times since the release. I've only seen it four times. But um, yeah, let's get a closer look of Danny here. And so there you have it, the grand package set. Uh, again, it took me years to find somebody who was going to be selling this. Um, it's kind of hard to find people who are interested in selling this because they really don't want to post and say, hey, you know, I'm getting rid of this. But the individual that I bought this from, I saw the set in, uh, in a picture that he sent. I saw it in the background and I was like, hey, if you ever decide to sell this set, please let me know and I will take it off your hands. And sure enough, he went on ahead and he was like, hey, I'm going to have it up for sale. 
and I was like, I'll take it. And so now it's here and happy that I got it in the collection and I will uh, be in pursuit of other Rain Man pieces uh, until the meantime, um, just keep on collecting. But this is it, the Shining set, the grand package uh, set by none other than Rain Man. Thank you.